So the aircraft carrier and by extension the carrier flagship just got nerfed or I should say changed because there are some interesting things happening with both of the towers. So let's see if these towers are any good now. So what we're looking at is mainly a nerf but there's also an interesting buff happening. So we're playing on Covered Garden because this is a very obnoxious map and I have not played this map in a very long time so let's see if we can beat this thing. And this map is also really nice with one of the buffs actually that happened to the carrier flagship. But let me not get ahead of myself so let me just tell you guys about what the changes are and hold are we even going to leak the first round? Oh my my god wait a minute so if i go like should we be doing this like a dark monkey at this i don't like this start but yeah let's just roll with it this is gonna be an annoying map all right so let's start with the changes so the first change is that the frontal darts cooldown uh, got increased from 0.15 to 0.18 seconds so what this means is that the aircraft carrier is attacking 20 percent slower this goes for the other attack the real darts as well which go from 1 to 1.2 interestingly enough if you go for the 410 the grape attack has an unchanged attack cooldown so those guys are attacking the same and then there is this interesting change happening happening with the carrier flagship where the main attack pierce is getting increased from 4 to 7. So what this means is that the darts that the carrier flagship attacks with are getting their pierce increased and that's why I wanted to kind of play this map as well because we can make full use of that. Alright so for some reason whenever I saw this change with the carrier flagship uh, extra pierce I thought I could play covered garden because there's this little spot in this map. Well first off let's see if we can beat this round. It's not looking like it. Oh my god this map's so annoying. Okay so let me just try and fix this with attack. The attack is going to be unupgraded for the entirety of the game because that's not part of the plan but we have to do something about this round all right so i wanted to play this map for a very specific reason and that's this little spot over here in which we can have a buccaneer we can have the carrier flagship and it's really good for two reasons number one is that the planes can fly over the obstacles and they can just attack no problem and number two is that this new pierce on the carrier flagship which went from four to seven we can actually get it in action we can play around it because the flagship is going to be able to attack onto this horizontal line and then on this vertical line as well which is going to be really nice all right so finally we are on round 12 and how are we doing on this one i think we can defeat it oh my god the start on this map is just so annoying but again once you get the towers going i think it's gonna be completely fine so i think i'm gonna start with gwen actually let's have gwen like this let's fire as soon as possible no the buccaneer is not happening this round okay so we're gonna have to wait a full cycle of these glass panels rotating this is just such and such an evil map and this is like a community submission even so let's be ready with the buccaneer and let's place this is a very short round by the way so let's place the buccaneer like this and let me just go for i guess this something like a 110 for now right so doing well so far i think we have this one this one is going to test our pierce a little bit we do have Gwen's abilities if necessary and then we want to just straight up go for the destroyer that's going to help us stabilize a lot and if are we going to get it oh my god this is perfect we're going to get the money on this round and we have the panel in rotation that's really nice okay so let me just buy the destroyer right out of the get-go all right so we might have run into a little bit of issues so i wanted to upgrade the ng to the cleansing foam but the problem is we're not going to get the panel to open so maybe we need to intervene with something like like this probably just get both of the you know what i'm just going to get this guy as a zero zero two so i'm gonna use the cocktail because it can pop camos let's actually set it like this and see if we can cheese it a little bit if it affects yes look at this so it affects these guys on the left side this is what i want to do we by the way we set the flowers on fire but <laughs> it is it's for the greater good guys we want to win there's a full yellow and i don't think that this solo dark monkey is defending so we're probably gonna have to go like this oh even two of them aren't defending okay that's interesting i mean maybe eventually in the late game we're probably gonna want to buy a spike factory i was thinking so maybe we can just set like a Wait, you cannot have a spike here at the back? I hate this map. Okay, let's go for something like a 0 2, two. I think this is going to be fine. <laughs> let's see if these guys are going to defend now. This guy's attacking super fast at the end. So, uh, uh, they're barely holding on, but I think they have it. At least for this round, then we need to do something about 32. I think we're going to have the foam for, not 32, but 36. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, okay, so this is just temporary until we stabilize, but we need to do some other stuff. So for example, let's start with an alchemist, which I want to have a little bit closer to the buccaneer, because we are going to be playing off of the main attack on the carrier flagship as well a little bit, as I mentioned. I want to play off of these straight lines so we might even be overclocking a flagship which you don't do that often have you guys noticed the changes by the way with the aircraft carrier have you played it once this new update dropped and have you noticed the changes I feel like it's a 20% nerf but it might not matter like just because of how good this tower is but I might be wrong about that okay so let me use the cocktail let's just get some oh the cocktail is still in the <laughs> it's still in the in the flowers but uh is this gonna be enough okay so we're not defending the small blooms it seems like okay that's fine we can probably do something about that maybe we can get a spike factory and I want to have the spike a little bit lower so that eventually if we get an alchemist we can alchemize the spike and not the dart monkey so let's go for something like uh, i guess this and now let's see if we can make it work so let's use a cocktail a little bit earlier get some extra damage as fast as possible get some damage oh I, this is looking a lot better than last time i think is the spike gonna hold oh my god the spike wasn't even necessary okay so we just need to use the cocktail a little bit earlier that's really nice you know what i just noticed about this map these flowers they don't count as walls as obstacles so normally whenever a projectile will hit 
the wall, the projectile would disappear, but not these guys. Now, that's a little bit of an interesting fact for this map, which I guess I didn't even know myself. I just, I just found out by just watching it, these grapes fly through them. All right, so this is a very good round for us to, to have this panel open because I want to get the strongest stem onto this guy. So both the Gwen and the Destroyer are now fully buffed. And let's actually see how we do versus the first mob after round 40. So are we beating this guy on time is the question. And the answer is yes. Very good. All right, so no more leaks. The Spike Factory is going to do its thing, but I think it's going to be later on. And there we go. We get the money for the aircraft carrier. We've actually had the money for a couple of rounds. So we're just kind of waiting for, you know, the rounds like 52 to pass. So we get the rotation. And I saw full ceramic actually that survived. So the spike is helping out a lot, guys. All right. So let's get the aircraft carrier finally. All right. So let's watch the aircraft carrier go to town onto these 50s. I'm not exactly concerned about the 50s. I'm more looking forward to rounds like 62 and the 45 mobs at the, at the back. 63 and all those ceramics. And then 64. Huge waves of mobs. And then 65. Two BFBs next to each other. You guys know what? I'm just doing some calculations on where the panel is going to be around 63 and it's going to be like here in the top right corner we literally have no towers in the top right panel so yeah these guys are just going to have to defend 63 or else or i don't know we're going to be forced to buy some towers but hopefully not all right so 62 45 mobs incoming and then 63 the big one which i'm really excited to watch and yeah no problems versus the 45 mobs but keep in mind once these balloons kind of make it past the the carrier uh, that's the one we have issues so we're going to need to be popping these balloons as fast as possible and let's actually see if the 20 percent extra yeah the 20 percent is not exactly doing anything i don't think okay let me rephrase that it's probably doing something but it's not enough for it to be noticeable on a round like this right i mean the spike is defending a little bit but yeah so far it looks like it's really good this is gonna be a third wave of ceramics we seem to be defending these guys no problem and yeah if if you have a plane like turning uh to where the ceramics are and you get some good grape shots off then yeah that's the ram grave is done but yeah 64 so 45 mobs so look at this thing these guys are making it past the, the tower itself even though the planes have global attack right, so finally we get the panel open on a very nice round so let me buy the carrier flagship and this is a change that i really wanted to test actually so we're gonna be overclocking the carrier flagship which is not something that you do because the overclock doesn't work on the small planes but it's gonna work on the normal attack and so because the normal attack got some extra pierce i want to play a little bit off of it if possible yeah so it's around 75 and i'm not seeing any issues and i don't think we're gonna be seeing any issues in 76 in the huge wave of ceramics it should be pretty easy for this tower to clean everything out i also bought the overclock in the downtime and let me just check Gwen's level so she is level 14 we're gonna need level i think it was 17 or 18 yeah there we go we need this one so heat up and powers affected monkeys to pop one extra layer so that's plus one damage and plus two damage to lead balloons and, and when i say lead balloons i just mainly mean ddds all right guys finally free play is out and this is what we want to see all right so first things first i was kind of thinking about what we want to put onto these platforms up top and i was thinking either an icicle impale or something more interesting like a 420 balloon impact just to keep the small balloons in place and actually i forgot how this thing works so please tell me when i click the overclock i know that i cannot access the towers but please tell me that i can overclock this guy right oh my god it doesn't work yeah i shouldn't have rushed the overclock purchase i should have tried this in sandbox or something like that but round 84 all right so we're doing so far it seems like the care flagship is defending and actually balloons are not even passing like this little foam spot that the ng is throwing it how we do versus these zmgs now we're gonna have some fortified bfbs after this round so you know what uh i think before this round ends i'm actually gonna use the overclock so that it lasts for the next round as well so let's just kind of play it slowly and then as soon as these guys pop let me overclock it and it should carry over to the next round and then maybe we can see some of the pure of this carrier flagship go to town oh yes look at this attack go to town by the way look at those grapes coming out of the flagship tower not the not the planes the flagship tower is actually going insane yeah so this is why i went for gwen as the hero by the way if we're going off of the main attack it's, it's gonna be really nice if we buff everything up but yeah we're gonna have the panel open up on the bottom right side so this is important because we can finally get the perma spike so if we leak something at least it's not gonna be the end of the game hopefully we don't leak too much so let me get the perma spike now and then round 88 i mean we're going into this late game and i think this might be the time for us to buy something like the balloon impact or what do you guys think maybe we go for the icicle impale or the impact i don't know you know what let's go for the icicle impale let's go i mean this thing is gonna be taking the alc buff so maybe the alc should have been something like a 401 now that i think about this but yeah let's go for the icicle impale keep all these balloons in place and then maybe we get some village upgrades as well and again before this round ends let me make sure to overclock the, the carrier flagship so it carries over to round 90 and we're finally gonna have some DDs. okay so i can see the heat above being active on the carrier flagship oh it just 
disappeared. Okay, so let's activate it before these ETs appear so that we can pop them. And yes, there we go. We're just melting these guys. That's really nice. All right, so far, so good. I mean, this tower is not, you know, overtly buffed. It's just like an, an alchemist and then I guess Gwen. So we're not exactly doing something out of the ordinary, you know, to get out of our way to make this tower super strong and then claim, like, look at how good this is. But at the same time, I feel like these changes, they're not just going to be too impactful on the carrier flagship because they weren't that significant. I guess the, the aircraft here is going to feel a little bit of it, but the carrier flagship, especially if you play off with the main attack, should be kind of fine, I think. I mean, maybe we should try the ouch chimps thingy that we did, like, a couple of... Oh, wait a minute. We are leaking a 92. Oh, are we finally starting to see some cracks in our defenses? No, it doesn't look like it. All right, so 93, we get some more DTs on this one. How are we doing with the money for the ice cone pale? 14,000. We need about... Uh, we need a lot of money, actually. All right, but we are melting these DTs. It seems like no problem. And then when the heat of buff activates, Gwen is activating it, by the way, by herself, so we don't even need to click the level 10 ability to manually do it, but we can if we need to, right? Alright, so finally we get some bigger rounds, like round 94, so this is where I want to see this carrier flagship just destroy these rounds by itself, and then finally with the Icicle Impale, I think that that's, that's probably going to be, you know, the peak of our setup, because I don't think we can afford anything too significant after that, but let's see how we do. So we're popping the small balloons so the BFBs are dealt with, and now these EMGs are kind of making, oh, these guys are going fast, guys. So one of the things that I can guarantee is that the, the Pierce, especially the newly added Pierce on the carrier flagship, is being fully used, but at the same time, these balloons are a little bit too fast, so I think that we might be the yeah, we might be needing the icicle impale a little bit sooner rather than later. All right, so 95, we cannot get the overclock off on this round. We did get the heated up uh, activate passively, and we can use the ability the firestorm if we need to. I think I'm just gonna use the cog, I don't think it does much, but I'm gonna use it on this round. And actually, even though the DTs are going past our defenses, we are actually defending, and these balloons are not even going up to the perma spike, which is really nice. Look at this carrier flagship go, this is really good. All right, so we actually defend 95, that's good to know. All right, so 96, we're finally gonna have the money for the icicle impeller on this round. We can we can also be able to stop the ZOMGs which come out uh, after these BFVs. So that's really nice. But the thing is, we're not gonna be able to buy it. We're gonna need to wait for 97. But that's actually on time for 98. All right, so let's just prepare for the late game and just the last three rounds, which are gonna be the most difficult ones. So let me use a cocktail. Let's use the Firestorm as well because why not? We're gonna get them off cooldown for 98. And look at this thing. 96 is actually making it up until the permanent swipe pile. So let me just check the pops onto this thing. Wait a minute. This thing barely has any pops. It's like 6,000. And it got like 4,000 of those pops. Now, yeah, this is this is totally fine. Okay, so Isaac Lapel, finally. And then we have a little bit of cash and we need to start thinking about what we want to do with this cash. And I was thinking maybe something like to slow the balloons down. How much money are we going to make from this round? I don't think it's going to be too much. Okay, so let me just go for something like a Moab glue. Oh, look at the money. $2 left. Are we going to make $1,000 from this round so we can get the glue split? I don't think we are. Okay, so let me, I guess we just overclock the, oh, wait a minute. We might get $1,000. So we might get away with, yes, there we go. Okay, set this guy to strong. Yes, very good. Okay, so we have a 0 2 3 Moab glue active really important we have the icicle impale active and this is the most important round okay so if we defeat this one it's probably gonna be fine and let's finally see how we do okay so these balloons are being kept in place that's a huge mess but we are actually I, I think that we're keeping everyone in place, right? I mean, this Isaac and is doing the Lord's work at this point. The heat up is proccing manually. I think the Pierce is being fully used onto a carrier flagship, especially the newly added one. And look at this thing, guys. I am so glad to see this tower just go down to these balloons. Let me just use the cocktail because why not? I, again, it's not doing anything, but let's just use it. And hopefully we don't leak any of these UMGs that we pop because these guys, they hold a lot of balloons inside of them. So if this goes well, then I think that we can probably celebrate our victory. And yes, 98 wasn't even close. There you go. All right, so 99, we should be able to hold the ETs thanks to the Icicle Impale, so no problem. Oh, wait a minute. Let me just activate the heat up. We do have the Perma Spike at the back. Yeah, this is why we bought it. This is why we bought it. A little bit of safety at the end, but yes, there it is. You know what? I think I think the worst tower that we bought in this entire run was probably the Overclock because we got to use it like four times in total or something like that. Man, this map with all these panels closing is just so insane, but let's see if we're going to we're gonna be able to pop the badges with the towers that we have because this is the Curia Flagship doing the majority of the damage at this point. I think it's actually going to pop it, guys. I think it's gonna pop it before it even reaches the permanent spike. Am I correct about that thing? No, it's getting close. It's it's about to pop. Yeah, there we go. It's about there. But yes, are we gonna hold this? I think we are. I mean, the permanent spike is it's doing its job, guys. This is exactly why I bought it for. And yes, we finally get it done. Okay, so let me just. Oh, you cannot click on this thing. I wanted to see how many pops the permanent spike has, but let's just I guess check the. Oh my God, one and a half million pops. Yep, this guy's he's just going to town. Yep. Yeah. So these changes, I'm not exactly sure. You can probably notice them on the aircraft carrier, but it was really fun actually playing off of the newly added Pierce onto the main attack and yes, we get it done. It was really fun using it onto these intersections and that is the new carrier flagship. So that's gonna be it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'm gonna see you on the next one.